on the 7th of October we started our trip to Romania. We were heading to the airport in Memmingen, which is a smaller airport outside Munich, one hour and a half away. And we were a little bit running late. We really caught the flight really on the last minute. But I was so excited to finally see my family, my friends, and to just go back to the culture where I was raised. The flight is really short. The flight is only one hour and 20 minutes. It was very relaxing, it was really enjoyable, and we really had a good time above the clouds. For me, it's always a joy to travel, to fly above the earth. It's always such a feeling that I'm above all the problems that could happen. And I always feel very light and excited to be up there. This was not technically the first day in Romania, it was the first day visiting the city because the first three days we visited the family, we met with friends, we traveled around so I will show you very soon a new video about something very exciting in Romania but this was the day when we decided to go to the center and enjoy the city which is going to be the capital culture of Europe just next year. morning from a new day and today we are going to visit the city the city center of Mishwara which is my hometown and I will show you around it's super pretty and I think this is one of the best periods of, during the year to visit it's the perfect temperature the colors are extraordinary and it's always like full of life because the students are back and you'll see this all the bars are open restaurants are booming it's a lot. So let's go together and first thing on the list we will have a breakfast and I will also show you a little bit around in terms of prices, what you can find and things to do. After we had the breakfast in one of the most popular brunch spots in Timisoara, we headed to Union Square, which is in my opinion one of the most beautiful places in the city. And we are now into Union Square, which is the prettiest square in Timisoara, as you can see. So pretty and all the buildings are renewed and they literally just stand out with colors it's always so chill and people just come here to relax and there are a lot of bars and a lot of cafes this is one of the most popular spots for people to relax to enjoy their free time people come here for sundowner for drinks for coffee on sundays in the weekends and even for families who come here with kids because they like to play in the grass that it's right in the middle of the square for me, the center of the city, it's not just about relaxing and meeting with people, but it's also about admiring the architecture and soaking in the history because the whole center has a very strong influence from Austrian Empire, from Hungarians and as well from Serbians. It's really at the border with Hungary and Serbia, so it has a very strong connection with these two countries. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now leaving the Union Square behind, we are heading to the main center area of the city, which is the Opera Square. And it's a very important historical site because this is where the revolution, anti-communism, started first time in Romania. It was Timisoara, my city, that started this revolution that changed the whole system and propelled Romania into democracy for the first time. <music> We are leaving the center area behind. We are now heading to the university area, which is one of the most emotional for me and also pretty one. But we are passing by Bega Channel, which is the river slash channel crossing the city. And it's surrounded by parks. It's surrounded by green. So it's a very calming and relaxing atmosphere. This was actually one of the most beautiful and I think my favorite part in the city. <music> and it's always reminding me how I used to go after school with my friends, with my colleagues for smoothies, for drink and just chat and we were just enjoying the last days of autumn and it was always like so this warm and it was always like warm and nice such a cute, so, such cute memories to have very emotional moment for me because I already realized after a couple of months that my heart is already in both places and it's probably always going to be like this you always leave your heart everywhere you're living in the end and part of my heart is where I grew up where my family is but part of my heart is also where I chose already to live and to build my new life which is in Munich right now in Germany so it's always a bittersweet feeling to say goodbye, but it's always a very happy place to go back home as well. <laughs> 